In the last video of the sniper spaceship build, you've heard me talking about the V-shaped arm here on the back of the ship. This is the arm that will hold the frame, the gun, the wings and pretty much everything will be held by this V-shaped arm here in the back. And I've made one and in this video I'm gonna show you how I made one out of wood that was super sturdy. I put some bolts and some screws on it to make it really strong but in the end of the day I just decided to throw it away and start a new one using 3D printed parts and some aluminum that I had and I'll show you how I end up with something that's so much better, lightweight and so much stronger. Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue and let's get to the build itself. So, even though I decided to just throw this wooden arm, V-shaped arm away, I just decided to show you guys the process because it was really interesting and the result was kind of good, it was strong enough, but I'll show you why I decided to change it for the 3D printed parts. So let me get to, to this first part of the process first. So this, this V-shaped arm is like the key piece of the sniper spaceship. It will hold the entire weight of the thing, it will hold the wings, the body, the entire weight of the gun that's pretty big and pretty heavy. So it had to be something that's really really strong. So this is why I went with this 3 by 3 centimeters block of wood for that. And this is also why uh, even though I just glued it with CA glue, I'm putting some holes on it to kind of embed some screws because really this arm will keep everything together so I don't, I don't want it to fail on me. And the arm was was okay. It was in a in a nice angle because I, I had to cut it by hand, so I wasn't like super precise on the cutting. But the the angle was kind of right, and I was started just adding pieces on the top of it to kind of make the, the the places the other shapes of the the spaceship because I want to hide this wooden part for sure. But, but here's the turning point for me. So I embedded a nut right here on the, the tip of the arm to kind of go through the wing segment and hold everything together. And this is when I realized that the piece that, that keeps all segments of the wings together, it was kind of breaking because it's MTF and styrene and it was kind of bending and separating themselves. And so this is where I realized, where I remembered that I had these aluminum bars right here and then I thought well I have a 3d printer why don't I just throw it all away and start a new one using the aluminum which is super strong and super lightweight so this is what I did I also wasn't super happy about this piece right here if you guys watched my last video you remember that I did this kind of trying to create a, a a joint point for the segments this is not working well so I went with a new one this one right here where, where the studs are much bigger and the it, they can provide like a, a better joint point so I've printed these new parts and I just had to replace all of them to, to the wing segments and as you can see they kind of fit nice together it's way stronger than the previous one so i just had to remove all of the previous ones for from the the wing segments and i had some troubles on, on some of them because they, they kind of broken apart and yeah it was a whole story but at the end of the day i just managed to remove all of them replace the broken pieces I had to, to mark and then drill some holes for, for this new joint point because it is kind of bigger and it needed to go inside the ring segments. So yeah, once I had all of the ring segments cleaned up, the holes were made, I just had to glue all of the joint points and I was good to go. And I don't know if you can see, but this piece, this joint part right here, it kind of sits proud from the wing segment. And this one, which has these studs, it sits flush. And this is by design because I want to keep the one millimeter gap that was created for each wing segment. So yeah, here you can see that the results much better. 
that was done for all of the five wing segments everything is good now so i can start working on the the frame the v-shaped arm Now those pieces were also made on Fusion 360 and for that I just had to grab my caliper and I've taken some measurements from, from the aluminum bar because uh, I wanted to make it like perfect. So with those measurements the model was made on my computer and then they were printed and the result was pretty nice the these the aluminum bars they fit perfectly inside of the these pieces so I was happy with it and here you can see a shot with all of those pieces printed like three for the v-shaped arm and five for the wing segments now for this new design I decided to go with two bolts for each wing segment. So again by using those 3D printed parts that I've shown on the last video that I've embedded like the brass insert onto this piece I just had to remove them and now I'm going to attach two of them to each wing segment. To keep the aluminum bars from moving, I've put some holes on the 3D model and now I just have to put a hole and embed some screws onto the aluminum bars. But to do that, I decided to try to tap them first. But I don't have the tapping tool, so I decided to just grab a steel bolt that I had and try to create one for myself. So first, with my mini disc sander, I've created an angle on the boat and then I've tried to make a, a flute on it with my Dremel. And just to be clear, I don't know exactly what I'm doing right here, I'm probably making like many things wrong, but I just decided to try to mimic something that I've seen on some YouTube videos. But yeah, then I grabbed my screwdriver and I tried to screw it inside, kind of creating the, the tap. And yeah, I, I think by the end of the process, it was a good, good, it worked well, I guess. And by, by that I mean that the screw, it goes inside and it kind of stays there. It, it, it's not loose or anything. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Now the next thing to do here is to kind of cut the aluminum bars to the size, to the perfect size. So I had to take some measurements and kind of compare the frame to the wings and kind of see where things like needed to go. So then I could like cut it. And that was just a long process of cutting the aluminum bars and trying to put everything together and checking dimensions and repeating this all over again until I was like happy with the frame that I had and with the fit for the, the spaceship. In this part of the process I also need to take some measurements because I needed to embed like the, the 3D printed piece with the brass insert in all of the wing segments. Guys, just as a friendly reminder right here, and if you like the content, if you like the channel, you want to help me like keep me making it, I have a Patreon campaign, so the link is on the description box, and right there you can like select a tier and donate to the channel, each tier has its own benefits, for instance, the $15 tier, it gives you access to all the 3D printed parts that you see on this video, so if you can support me, please go there. It would be really helpful. Now back to the video. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I didn't do a good job in taking these measurements and I know that the, the 3D printed parts with the brass insert they fit nice and perfect and it kind of looks good on video but the thing is that the measurements were, were kind of crooked and kind of screwed up and fitting everything together was kind of a challenge. So I had to make lots of adjustments to those pieces and it was kind of hard. But once I was done with that, I could just tap the holes and put the screws in place. Now some of those bolts, they won't be going anywhere, so I could just put a drop of CA glue to keep them in place. But some others, they, 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 they kind of need to be taken apart for the assembly of the spaceship, so I'm leaving them loose like this one right here
Here are the pieces that gave me some trouble and that I had to wrestle with for some time. But now they are kind of in a nice place and I can like screw them all together. And yeah, the frame is done. Now, at the end of the process, I was pretty happy with what I had. So, this is the old frame, like using MDF and styrene, it kind of bends and it's kind of weak and, and flimsy to be honest. And here's the new one. It is lightweight, super strong, it is plastic and aluminum, so this is like lasting forever. And at the end of the day, I'm really happy and I'm really glad I, I've taken that decision of taking a step back and making it all over again. Now I just have to cover all of those structures and make them look more like a model. So that's for the next video and this is it for this one. If you liked what you saw here, please consider subscribing to this channel, that helps a lot. And also hit the like button if you liked the video. Leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer that. And there's ways you can further support me. There's a Patreon account and a Coffee account. The links are on the description box. But as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>